get ready to go. We're glad that you're all here, so now it's time to start the show. We're not in school, but we can still pretend by making music until this ends. We're making music with our Falcon friends. Hey there, fifth grade guys. Back to Jamaica today for another brand new song. Lots of great songs from Jamaica. I think you're really going to like the one for today. Also, we're going to put another song with our drum circle pattern. See how it all works together and see how many different songs we can fit with this. And a little bit more information for those of you who have a ukulele at home that you can use. So enough talking about it, let's make some music. All right, fifth grade, got another brand new song for you today. Another song from Jamaica. Now, this is one of my favorite songs. This song is called Shake the Papaya Down. You ever heard of a pa papaya? Oh, I can barely say that. I'm so excited. A papaya is a fruit that grows on a really, really tall tree, especially down in Jamaica. Now, an easy way to get these papayas is to climb the tree. It's actually just to shake the tree. And here's a song about that. It's called Shake the Papaya Down. It goes like this. Mama says no play. This is a work day. Up with the bright sun. Get all the work done. If you will help me climb up the tall tree. Shake the papaya down. Shake them down. Shake them down. Climb the tall tree. Shake them down. Shake them down. Shake them down, shake the papaya down. Fun song, okay? I'll sing the same, you go back. Mama says no play. This is a work day. Get with the bright sun. Get all the work done. If you will help me, climb up the tall tree. Shake the papaya down Shake them down, shake them down Climb the tall tree, shake them down Shake them down, shake them down Shake the papaya down Try a little bit longer this time. Listen. Mama says no play. This is a work day. Up with the bright sun. Get all the work done. If you will help me climb up the tall tree. Shake the papaya down. Shake them down, shake them down, climb the tall tree, shake them down. Shake them down, shake them down, shake the papaya down. Try the whole song with me this time. Ready? Here we go. Mama says no play. This is a work day. Up with the bright sun. Get all the work done. If you will help me climb up the tall tree. Shake the papaya down. Shake them down. Shake them down. Climb the tall tree. Shake them down. Shake them down. Shake them down. Shake the papaya down. Really a fun song, good. Practice that song because next we're gonna do a little bit more with there's actually some more verses for it. So keep it in your head, keep it fresh, eat a papaya if you can, but most importantly, keep on making some music. We're making music with our Falcon friends. All right, fifth grade, hyper fast review. Claves, you got them, here we go. Simple, good, done, next. The Guiro, you got it? That's easy. Okay. Next, maracas. Got your maracas. I really like making these. I don't know how you guys feel about them, but I thought they were pretty fun. Here we go. Ready? That's a tricky one. Hopefully, you can play that one. All right. Next one. 
your conga drum, which we'll use this bucket for. This is a nice rhythm. Nice pattern there, okay? Now, the tricky one, the bongos. How has this been going for you? Has it been going well? Has it been tricking you? Has it been confusing and confounding you? I don't know, but here's what it is. It is high, low, high, low, high, low. If you have two buckets like this, two containers, plastic containers, different sizes, it's actually amazing how much these sound like bongos. It's amazing how things around your house can really kind of replace some of those musical instruments. Now, if you have some of these musical instruments, maybe your family is really musical or maybe you just like musical instruments, you can use those too. Obviously, I hope you are using those. But it's always fun to kind of experiment and see what you can come up with. Like we were talking about a while ago with the idiophones, you can kind of make some of your own. If you shake them, if you scrape them, if you strike them. There's a lot of different ways to make sounds, lots of different ways to make music, whether you have instruments or not, okay? So, very quick review, going through this, I want you to really focus on this part, but you can do the other parts too. And now's a really great time to start to include some other people if you haven't done that yet, okay? So if you've got brothers and sisters, if some of you have been actually emailing me and telling me, hey, I've had my family playing along with me. That's great, that's fun, okay? So make this kind of like a fun family activity. You can teach them the other parts. You know what we're doing here. Take some time to teach them the other parts because up next I'm going to put on the video of all the parts together and maybe you could play along with some other people at your house if you haven't done that yet. If you have, keep doing that. Maybe you can mix and match the instruments. Maybe you could try one that you haven't tried or someone else could try one that they haven't tried, okay? So do that because coming up next we're going to put another song with this pattern. So get ready. We're making music with our Falcon friends. fifth grade we're going to put a new song with our drum circle now okay we're going to do a new song well not really a new song one that we learned last week hill and gully rider okay if you remember it from last week sing along if you don't then listen to it and see if you can remember it all right we're going to put that song with our drum circle now to challenge you see if you like i said last week can play one of the parts while you also sing the more people you have at your house to help out the better the more fun you'll have okay so get people together it's a fun little activity instead of just sitting around and watching TV or watching Netflix or watching whatever you watch, I don't know. Have some fun, make some music together, okay? So teach them the parts and then see if you can add Hill and Gully Rider into our song. Have some fun. We're making music with our Falcon friends. Hill and Gully Rider, Hill and Gully. Hill and Gully Rider, Hill and Gully. Took my horse and come down. Hill and Gully, but my horse doesn't tumble down. Nobody gonna get me down, hill and go leap, hill and go leap rider. 
we've got a ukulele. I'll show you a couple more things today on this ukulele. First of all, C major chord. Take that ring finger, put it in the third fret right there. One, two, three on the bottom string. And when you strum, you can go down or you can go up. Use one finger and do all the strings like that. Now, when you're actually uh, doing this, you want to sort of flick your wrist. You don't need to move your whole arm. That's too much. You just want to flick your wrist like that. It makes it a little bit easier. Gives your, other, your arm a chance to actually hold the ukulele as well. That's the rhythm we're going to be playing. Down, up, down. And remember to stop that sound. You want to stop those strings from vibrating by putting your hand there. Down, up, down. Down, up, down. Down, up, down. Down, up, down. Just like that, okay? This is a C major chord. This is a very easy one to play. I'm going to show you another one right now that's a little bit trickier to play, okay? So here's C major. The other chord I'm going to show you is called a G7 chord. Now a G7 chord, this is getting very, very technical. I'm just going to make it a little bit easier to understand. A G7 chord is a chord that actually has four different notes. Every string is a different note. I know it's a G7, not a G4. If you know about music, it'll make sense. But if you don't, it's actually really not that big of a deal. Here we go. To play a G7 chord, you're going to put three fingers on the strings. Now, this is a lot trickier. You're going to take your ring finger and slide it down one fret. You're going to take your next finger, your middle finger, skip a string and put it in the third fret on the second string, just like that. Okay. Now you got to curve your fingers. You got to curve them. If they're not curved, it's not going to work. Do you know why? Because your fingers can only touch the fret, the uh, strings that they're on. If they touch another string, it's going to change the way that string sounds. So you have to have some pinpoint accuracy here. Okay. Curved fingers. We got the second fret with your ring finger on the bottom string. Two strings up. We're skipping a string there, guys. Do you see that? And we're putting our middle finger in the same fret but on a different string right there. Your pointer finger is going to fall, how can I show this, right there in the first fret on that string in between. See where that goes? Okay, so watch that again. We got the second fret, we got the second fret again, and we got the first fret right there. Okay, that's what your hand position should look like. Nothing on that top string. This is a G7 chord. It's a little cramped, but it has a really cool sound to it. Now, if you don't push your fingers down, listen. That doesn't sound very good, does it? You have to really squeeze tight. Again, when you lift your fingers, you're going to have those little divots there. That's okay. They will go away. If they don't go away, maybe go talk to a doctor. I don't know, but they should go away. All right? They will go away. Trust me. They'll go away. Okay? But practice that. Get your thumb on the back there as well. Give a little extra support if you need to change your hand position just to make it there. Okay? This is a G7 chord. Okay? It's a much more difficult chord than this one. C major, that's a pretty easy one. You're only putting one finger on a string. That's all you're doing. All the rest of them are open. They really sound nice. When you put your other fingers on, that's when it gets a little bit tricky. So practice your hand position there. Really curve those fingers. Get that really, really good. Do it so many times that you can just sort of place your hand there and now you have to think about it, okay? Make sure your fingers are curved. And most importantly, make sure you're having some fun. We're making music with our Falcon friends. Well, we sure had fun this week, didn't we? So until next time, Over.